Well, one study that looks as if it might be in that domain about consuming things was done by Berridge and Winkelmann, Cognition and Emotion. They presented some emotional faces, a bit like the faces you might get in those ice cubes. They used happy faces at the top, neutral faces, or distressing, angry, negative affect faces. They were presented for 16 milliseconds and then followed by a visible neutral face that was either male or female. So this is like a mask. This one is too quick for you to see. It's a subliminal cue. Then there's a mask face that comes after it. All you see is this face. Maybe it comes on with a bit of a flicker or a jump. And you're just asked to say, is it male or female? So you've got a task to do. Nothing to do with emotion. After you've done this task, you say, right, now, here's part two. There's a beaker of water, a pitcher of water in front of you. I'd like you to do a taste test, please. Could you pour some of that water, that flavoured drink out, take some, a sip of it, and then rate it on that questionnaire? This is known as a taste test. And what they're actually interested in, of course, is not what you rate. It's how much you pour out and how much you drink. They also got people to rate their sort of mood and arousal as well. Uh -huh. Here's the results. How much did the people pour and how much did they drink? When they were shown the happy face, they poured out more drink and they drank more than if they'd seen the neutral face. So seeing a happy face makes people consume more. So you'd think, well, that could be used for advertising. Interestingly, for all those internet conspiracies, seeing a distressed face makes people pour less and consume less. So that hypothesis that showing people distressed faces might make them turn to drink, well, it doesn't make them turn to flavoured soda. Okay. Not useful for increasing your sales. But maybe showing a happy face could make people drink more. What it's not doing, of course, is making them prefer this product over that product. It just makes them more labile. It makes them happy with their, how much they pour out and taste. Their participants had also been made thirsty by being forced to eat a salty licorice sweet. If anyone's ever had those Scandinavian licorice things, they really do dry your mouth out. You're desperate to drink something. So th these people were in a m wanting to drink something in the first place. So it didn't make them thirsty. It just changed the amount that they actually poured out when they were thirsty.